Hello, this is Greg Jennings with North Carolina State University and today I'm here with Mitch Woodward and we are going to be installing a rainwater harvesting system on a house in Pittsboro in Ch Chatham County, North Carolina. Now Mitch, would you explain how you came up with the plan and the components of this rainwater harvesting system? Sure, thanks Greg. This house is a 50 foot by 30 foot footprint house. That's the whole house. We're going to take a quarter of that and send it into this cistern that I'll show you in a minute. We're going to take a quarter of it. So basically we're looking at about 400 square feet of rooftop area going to the tank that I'll show you in a minute. What we like to size, uh, what we like to use for the uh, calculation to size the tank is one gallon of storage in the tank for every square foot of rooftop area. So 400 square feet of rooftop area, 400 gallon tank, we have a 550. What that means is you're going to be able to capture two one inch rings and have that water to use at this location and they have a garden and other things that they're going to use that water for. So come on over and let's take a look at the tank. Here we have all the pieces and the tools that we'll need. The best area to site one of these cisterns, especially a large one like this that's going to hold this much water, is right next to an existing downspout system. And the way we get this into the tank is we have a basket filter, and Greg you can see inside of that we have a screen, keeps the mosquitoes out, which is very important, you don't want mosquitoes in your tank. And this is an elbow, there's several ways to do this, uh, this is a special fitting that I kind of like. We're going to replace this fitting on the side of the tank with this elbow and then this basket filter fits up on top and this whole assembly now is pushed over next to the wall and the water from this downspout that will cut falls into the basket filter and then into the tank. So now we have the water in the tank. What happens if we get more than two inches? Because the tank's going to hold two inches but if we get a three or four inch rain what happens? This is a neoprene tank gasket and this goes into the side of the tank. We'll cut a hole here. So we have three inches in, three inch pipe coming out, and we're going to drain this to a rain garden out here in the yard away from the, uh, away from the house. Some of the tools that you'll need is a hacksaw or a electric cutoff tool. This makes speedy work of cutting down spouts and pipes. And of course you'll need a um, uh, a tape measure to measure the, the house as well uh, so that you get your, your accurate measurements and then we have all the fittings that we'll use here to, uh, to locate the uh, basket filter and then the pipe on the tank. Thank you Mitch. We will look forward to seeing you put this rainwater harvesting system together.